Aries, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are having a lovely beginning of October and I'm looking forward to doing this reading for you. It's going to be a collective love reading for the week of the 2nd through the 8th. What's going on with you? Beautiful sign. What's going on with Aries? <clears throat> the lovers. So clearly you guys are experiencing or at least you're surrounded by a connection in which is quite significant to you this week. However, there's a sense of dubiousness, a sense of uncertainty here. There's a lack of clarity in your own decision making. Well, to further elaborate in the challenge position, we see that your energy is quite scattered, Aries quite scattered you're all over the place you're not clear you're not dialed in subconsciously ooh, <clears throat> feeling burdened over overwhelmed all right feel like you got a heavy load on your shoulder regarding something something here is pestering you something here is is burdening you oppressing you Aries <clears throat> now what you have in the conscious position is the idea of expansion, the idea of growing a situation, of growing something. You see, the Empress is a nurturing energy. All right. It's one, it's Venetian energy, right? It's attributed to Venus, as you see right there. You see Venus, the symbol of Venus. And Venus, as we know, we've interpreted as Aphrodite, you know, the goddess of love, of fertility and beautiful feminine energy to say the least and that energy grows okay it grows it's the trinity it's the unity between the masculine and the feminine it's the it's the one plus the two equals three right it's the unity with that said you're wanting to grow something you're wanting something to come together and fructify have you been doing the required work to cultivate whatever it is you desire is my question Nevertheless, in the near future, <clears throat> we have absolute happiness, absolute happiness in regards to whatever that we just touched on. But as of now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting the gist of what's going on with you. There's someone significant to you during this time, Aries. However, it seems as if there's some sort of recluseness between you and them might have been taking a break they might have been taking a break from you you guys might have had a fallout for all i know nevertheless from a distance you are pondering you are thinking you are feeling this connection it is in your mind not only is it in your subconscious putting pressure on you oppressing you vexing you but it's in also your conscious and in this conscious state it's and it's an absolute different experience. It's a contradictory energy to what you actually feel down, deep down. All right, and guys, before we move further, I want to touch on attraction, right? The law of attraction, as a matter of fact. If you're wanting to attract love into your life, <clears throat> there has to be a synchronicity between the trinity of yourself, your feelings, your subconscious, which are your beliefs, and your conscious thoughts. So, here's an example. I want love. I want love in my life. I want to experience, you know, a beautiful and harmonious relationship. That's the active masculine aspect of the mind, the conscious. The passive is the subconscious. Now, you say you want love, but deep down, you feel empty and you feel miserable. You feel as if your love life is shit. You see the lack of synchronicity between your actual belief and your conscious thought? That's what I'm seeing here with you. That's what I'm seeing. All right, I see this beautiful Empress energy of wanting to expand and grow and nurture something. And then I see this overwhelmed energy. It's like, okay, you have this motion, this momentum of just beautiful energy in regards to a love reading. But then you have this energy that is just fucking oppressing. Moving along, the person you're dealing with. This person wants to come together, guys. All right. This relationship may not be something so stable. 
All right, it could be in its beginning stages or it can be in its infancy and its in its immature state. All right, and what I mean by that, I'm not saying that you're immature or your potential suitor is immature. I'm just saying the relationship. Think about a tree, all right? An immature state of the tree would be a leaf bursting out of the ground. It has yet to grow and become something sturdy. That's what I mean by its immature state. Now, in regards to your desire, you're wanting to transform the present state of the situation. <clears throat> and you're taking action towards that. Beautiful, Aries. This is an amazing. I mean, this is great. This is a wonderful reading. I see change. I see your desire coming to fruition. And the thing is that a desire is not just going to come to you. It's not going to fall from the sky. You have to align yourself with it. You have to put forth effort. You can't just depend on wishful thinking. All right? Because it's wishful thinking. If it's not juxtaposed by the belief that matches that wishful thinking, you're not going to get jack shit. You're going to be in the same place. All right? So get your head together, guys. Believe that you can attain what it is that you want. And you will. Now, that's where I see you headed, guys. That's where I see you headed. I hope some of you just needed to hear that to just have that extra kick of saying like, all right, fuck it. I'm going to fully commit to this and just really manifest this shit for myself. Put it to test. Put it to test. Now, what's with this two of swords? Why are we having these two of swords right in the hearts of the reading? Two more shelf. guys look i think there was uh something ensued between you and whomever it is that you're interested in i think it's like, it's like something you didn't like it's, it wasn't something catastrophic i'm not getting devastating energy here guys but nevertheless it was something that just led you to focus on something else you might have interpreted an action that your interest took toward you as a lack of interest in you all right and it led you to focus on something else. And now time has passed. And again, you're feeling the urge to stir the bees hive. That's what I'm seeing. And this two of swords is simply signifying that contemplation, the deliberation of how you're going to do that. How you're going to do that. Now, this challenge to overcome is to actually dial down, guys. To, you see, this is all scattered energy. You may be thinking, yeah, I want to make advancements towards this individual. I want to make something happen here. But then in another instant, you're like, fuck, what about if they're not interested in me? What about if they're, you know, this? And that's absolutely normal, guys. That's absolutely normal. But what this is saying is that you need to dial down, eradicate those fucking ideas that contradict what your actual objective is. All right. Eradicate them. Eradicate them. Just focus on the mission. Focus on the objective. You want this? All right. How are you going to go about it? You're going to do this. You're going to say that. You're going to text. You're going to call whatever. Dial down. When you're going and pursuing a high ambition, you're not thinking about failure. Sure. Maybe in the beginning, you said, what, what if things are going wrong? Okay. Fuck it. You checked it off. You prepare for it. Right? You accept what can possibly go wrong. Or you acknowledge it, at least. You acknowledge it. You don't ignore it because you want to prepare for it. Nevertheless... That's it. You let it go. You focus on what's going to move you forward. <clears throat> Clarify this seven. What's going on here? One more shuffle. All right, guys, it seems like, <sighs> yeah, there's something here that needs to be cleared. All right. There's something here that needs to be cleared. There's more certainly, obviously, communication is key in, in any sort of relationship, right? Communication in regard to human behavior is possibly the, the greatest power one can have in the social matrix. 
learning how to communicate. Through communication, you're able to influence. And I don't mean it in a manipulative, manipulative manner. What I'm saying, influence, you can positively influence someone. All right. And in this case, just say someone was mad at you. Someone was vexed by you and they snapped. Well, if you control yourself and communicate effectively, best believe that you can influence that individual's energy. Now, with that said, there's something here that needs to be leveled. There's something here that needs to be balanced. All right, something here that needs to be addressed. And what that is, is whatever the fuck you are feeling here on a subconscious level. All right, you see, we got a nine. A nine pertains to the moon, which is associated with the subconscious. All right, so this is telling me that there's a tumultuous energy here of stress, of anxiety, friction, deep within you. You may be thinking, you know, I want to move forward. I want to be, th- be positive. I want to be strong and persevere through this. And I want to accomplish whatever the fuck you want to accomplish. However, deep down, there's still that residual energy of failure, of anxiety, of fucking friction and all sorts of shit. All right. That w- that's what needs to be transformed. And how do you transform that? By taking action, guys. Taking action. And, and what does action entail? Possibly coming up to the individual and having whatever difficult conversation is necessary. Right? Or is exactly that necessary? Addressing something, taking action. You see, by taking action, you break paradigms. You break paradigms, and subconsciously, you got a fucking paradigm that needs to be transformed, let me tell you. All right? <clears throat> it's not going to be an easy thing. You see, the justice is, is only appears when there's a lack of balance. Something here needs to be addressed. <clears throat> Aries, it's time to take action. All right? It's time to take action. It's time to get up from this respite. All right. It's time to take action. All right. And the action is on you guys. That's what I'm seeing. All right. The action is on you. Let's clarify this here. Let's clarify this ace. Let's clarify this ace. Why would I tell you? Why would I tell you? I mean, guys, I'm an Aries myself. This reading is not for me, but I'm an Aries myself. So, you know, then again, I'm, I'm a male that is very ambitious. So I'm very assertive. And when it comes to giving personal advice, of course, I'm going to say, go fucking conquer. You know what I mean? You go get that shit. You want it? Go get it. Don't expect them to come towards you. Why? Why would I tell you, you know what, sit back, Aries, relax, let them come to you, they're coming to you. Why, why, why would I say that? No. If you want a sweeter reading, guys, I'm sure there's, there's Buttercup Tarot that you can go watch. But I prefer to give it to you raw. No judgments, all right? No judgments. I'm on your side, guys. I'm on your side. Now, with that said, yes, here we go from a... From a moment of silence, from a time of non-existing communication, motion comes about. Motion towards investment. All right. Whatever situation that I am picking up on has been encompassing you for quite some time, Aries. This is an, an existing relationship. This is something that's been existent for some time. This isn't anything new. All right, you know what's vexing you. (laughs) Take action. Take action. I'm going to take this to the extended. I'm going to bore into this individual that seems so keen to open up to you, to get together with you. All right, and some sort of celebratory energy. I don't know why I thought about sex. But anyways, I'm going to bore into this individual's thoughts surrounding you, their feelings towards you, their intentions towards you. If this was your reading, I will see you there. Otherwise, guys, blessings to you, and I'll see you soon.